Hello friends, welcome to Expert Speaks, a show where we bring in the experts and ask them to share their expertise just with you. Today we have Varsha Asrani from Dietride New Zealand Limited. Varsha is a registered dietitian and has been practicing for over 15 years. Welcome to the show Varsha. Thank you so much, it's my pleasure. Varsha, what role does diet and nutrition play in someone who has COVID-19 or is recovering from it? So diet and nutrition plays an important role in our lives. Uh, for somebody recovering from C19, um, there is no particular um, diet or particular food item that can actually prevent an infection or even um, fight it once they have got it. But the most important thing is that they need to stay healthy to be able to build, this, build strength and uh, try and um, come out of the whole uh, infection and recover and get their body back to baseline. Uh, important things that they need to do is rest well, um, which helps to recover faster, drink plenty of fluids, uh, maintain good hygiene practices that also includes food safety at home. Uh, and most importantly, they also need to connect with a medical professional uh, if they feel the need to. Varsha, what should one be eating? How often should they be eating, especially in this current climate? Individual needs vary from a person to person. Uh, it depends on your gender, age, uh, body type, and also how much uh, physical activity you indulge in. Uh, but some general things to follow would be just having a healthy, balanced diet, and also making sure that um, while you're indoors, you might be more hungry or you might be tempted to eat more snacks in between. Just making sure that these snacks are healthier. Things like fruits, vegetable sticks, nuts, um, or crackers might be good ways um, of trying to eat healthy but also try and beat the hunger between meals um, and most importantly also making sure that your overall diet is right and is balanced with a variety of foods as well. How does one manage their own health and well-being in this current situation? So one of the most challenging things during these times will be trying to achieve your health goals or maintain your weight. Um, and this is particularly because a lot of people are indoors. They're not having uh, to go out. And also because they might not be having um, the usual step activity, which they might be doing at work. So it can be quite challenging and you might indulge into a lot of unhealthy habits as well. So a few things that they need to do is make sure they have a schedule, try and stick to a routine as much as possible. By doing that, they can also take breaks on time try to make sure that those breaks um, involve eating healthy snacks like what I mentioned uh, making sure that they keep on having things like uh, enough fluid through the day and things like making sure there's some form of physical activity as part of their routine is very very important and it could be a simple thing like doing a walk or a short run or doing some home workout also would be quite a beneficial um, it's important to feel very um, stress-free during these times especially because uh, it might cause a lot of anxiety so trying to de-stress and spend some quality time at home with family would be really beneficial doing things like yoga or just um, simple um, tasks or trying to move around between uh, work hours would be really, really good. Some people would enjoy things like gardening, which is also a nice way of um, having some form of physical activity in your routine. What options do you have for someone who wants to connect with you now? Yeah, so that's very simple. They can connect with me through video consultations, which we have online now. Uh, they can access my website, www.dietride.co.nz and make an appointment uh, to chat with me uh, to have a virtual catch up, just like what we're having now. Any final tips or suggestions for our viewers? So I think the most important thing is trying to keep it as simple and normal as possible, uh, trying to make sure that you keep a good balance of eating the right food, eating a variety of foods, don't indulge in too many unhealthy habits, making sure you have a routine which also includes some physical activity um, and having the opportunity to also rest well and drink lots of fluids throughout the day would be really important. Uh, most important is try to follow um, the advice of health authorities and uh, be home and be safe. Thank you, Varsha. We truly appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me today. Thank you for watching Expert Speaks. Next time, we will connect with a new expert and talk about a complete different topic. Till then, be safe and remember to take good care of yourself.